All right, Dean, thank you. And now it is time for Fins on Full, your daily Miami Dolphins fix right here on the official home of the Miami Dolphins. The Dolphins take on the Tennessee Titans tonight, but before the Fins hit the field, CBS 4's Jim Barry talks with Dolphins analyst John Jemmy in this morning's Ask the Pros. It is time for another edition of Ask the Pro. I'm Jim Barry along with Dolphin analyst John Congemi. John, the last Dolphin preseason game coming up on Thursday. A couple of things still unsettled. Let's talk about that number three quarterback battle. I think that's going to be interesting. It's going to be the Dysert and Dowdy challenge. I think both guys are going to split time, probably you know two halves a piece if they can get it as close to that uh, with head coach Adam Gase deciding upon that. But it's going to be a challenge for both guys to see who gets a leg up because do the Dolphins carry three on the 53 or do they have somebody on the practice roster that yet to be determined. But Dysart looked good in the preseason game number three. It certainly had some intrigue to it. All right, let's talk about that offensive line. Looks like we've got four of the five spots settled, but what about right guard? Yeah, I think Laramie Tunsil on the left side is pretty settled. He's going to start, uh, I believe, on September 11th. But you're going to have a road rotation and that will continue on to this preseason four game and I just think that you know somebody has to rise to the challenge Bushrod is a guy that came in on the free agency wire he's established himself pretty well on the right side but then you have Dallas Thomas and Billy Turner as well so you'll see a three-man rotation to see who ends up starting week one and a guy we've long been waiting to see, Xavier Howard, the number two overall pick, finally healthy and it's going to get on the field. Well, if he's healthy and he shows anything in week four, he's going to be the starter week one against the Seattle Seahawks. He's healthy now. He's coming back from that knee injury. He looks good at practice, and now he has to transfer all the things he's learned in the, in the practice field and in those rooms in studying all this time when he's been off to game number four, and hopefully that translates into a starting assignment. And we'll see how the Dolphins look under the bright lights of Hard Rock Stadium. It's going to be exciting. I'm Jim Barry with John and Jimmy, and this has been.